Ooh, all right, everyone. This is Ash. Welcome back to the King's Speech. Uh, so I just finished recording my channel update and kaiju video, so I'm not going to do too much front loading on this video uh, before we dive into the chapter proper. Uh, but like I mentioned at the start of those ones, uh, I'm going to do the same kind of pitch here, uh, which I usually leave to the end. Uh, I want to thank everyone that has been helping me retweet my posts on Twitter, uh, asking me to help, asking to help me get past. 150 subscribers for the channel. Uh, I've gotten really really close uh, So like I said in those other videos uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel because uh, it does really help me a lot and uh, You know if you have any friends that you feel like you know would like the kind of content I make uh, Maybe have them take a look at the channel see if they would like to subscribe as well uh, I really do appreciate everyone though that has been supporting me retweeting all my stuff uh, promoting my channel things like that it does really mean uh, a lot it would be really great to finally kind of break through that barrier uh, that said uh, please do watch the channel update if you want you know kind of uh, general kind of a general idea of what videos and things are coming to the channel uh, in the coming weeks uh, with that said let us get to spy family mission 51 uh, by Tetsuya Endo with translation by Casey Lowe and lettering by Rina Mappa and we see our fireworks show is about to begin. We hope everyone joins us as we light up the night sky at sea. Let's make this cruise last night. Let's make this cruise as last night one to remember. And you see your back in disguise, uh, along with Fur Seal and Shoddy, just kind of moving through uh, the celebration. As your goes, first we'll head to storage area three where the inflatable boats are kept. The director will be waiting there. You'll escape via the emergency exit on the fore of deck two, and then the rendezvous sh and then the rendezvous ship will pick you up. Ideally, I'd like to do this all during the fireworks show. And you have so how do we spend our free time tonight? Let's see the fireworks. So, are you kidding me? We're hitting the casino. <laughs> and you see the two underlings for the director uh, from City Hall, and yours just kind of plasters their face against the. A uh, nearby deck wall along with the other two just hide so that they don't notice her. And you see, you're gonna hit the jackpot kiss City Hall goodbye. It's like, don't take, don't, just don't take off McMahon. You have your going, whoo, as they walk off. And okay, let's um, proceed with caution. And he's like, uh, yeah. And you see, as they're walking by, you see Mr. Turtleneck from last chapter sniffing the air. And he goes, Blue Lace number 88 and Mermaid. Both popular fragrances one might smell in any crowd, but to encounter both at once along with the woman with no scent. There, two women, one man and a baby. And he just has this maniacal grin on his face as he goes, Found you! And you see Lauren and Anya all dressed up. She looks so adorable in her little dress. And she's like, I love fireworks! She's like, Wee! He's like, Do you? And you see the lawyer's just kind of holding her hands as they're walking along the deck. And then she sees nearby a kid uh, who has a son, or a father who has a son, you know, riding up on his shoulders so he can watch the fireworks. So Anya just looks up at Lloyd and goes, it's so crowded, I can't see the sky. And she gets put up, put up on Lloyd's shoulders, she's all happy. As Lloyd's just looking unamused and stoic as usual. And she's like, maybe I can see Mama. And she's just like looking around. It's like, well, she won't be easy to spot in this crowd. And you see her kind of listening to the voices of everyone around her. You hear, can't wait. It's so crowded. Oh boy, how long till maybe I'll propose for the finale. And Anya's like, I can't hear Mama's thoughts all over all the excitement. It's like, so fun. It's like, I'll tell her you're prettier than any firework. So you've got to focus real hard to find her. And you see off to the side, you see yours heels just kind of poking out. as She's plastered herself uh, back against the wall. She's kind of peeking out into the hallway. And she sees two people in suits and goes, Those two might be assassins. They even have this route under surveillance? She goes, We'll go a different way. It's like, okay. And you see, what does that say? And you see the princess lounge, and you see they're going up on the upper decks on a little platform. And she goes, This way too? Are they guarding all the passages to the ship's bow? We could fight our way past them. But all but that'll alert reinforcements and reveal where we're headed. Then she goes, Let's head up to the deck for now. And Furl Seal's like, is it safe? And uh, Yor goes, Director McMahon gave me a key that unlocks the crew corridors. 
We can move along rooftops that aren't open to the public. And you see her just kind of slowly opening a door with a creak as she looks outside. There was no sign of anyone. So I doubt anyone could hear us over the fireworks show, but try to move as quietly as possible. Yeah, first he'll go to, okay. I shout, he just kind of goes shh to the baby. I cannot remember the baby's name or the life of me. You have, then let's go! And as soon as you step out, you have this brilliant explosion of fireworks just lighting up the sky. And Anya's like, yay! <laughs> and yours completely shocked and taken aback by this. And uh, Shadi's baby just starts crying out in fear as he sees all the fireworks being set off. You see a crackle, 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 and you see everyone below on the decks just cheering and clapping and celebrating as the fireworks are set off. And Nora's like, that was surprising. He's like, bump, bump, bump. And you see Shadi just trying to comfort the kid and be like, it's okay, look at the pretty fireworks. And it goes quick while everyone's distracted. And she points up this ladder. <laughs> And she just grabs Shadi in her arms, carrying her like a bride. It's like, I got you. And she just leaps up onto the next, onto uh, the upper deck. And you see her looking around. And she's like, goo goo. It's like, boom, pop, pop, pop. And you see the fireworks. She goes, we need to hurry. Over that way. And as they're heading towards the bow of the ship, you have two women with black hair. Should I aim for the one with the baby? And she goes, yes. If possible, hit both her and the baby. And you see a sniper rifle kind of focusing in on Shoddy. And you see, Roger that. Oof. And you see a whoosh and a boom as a firework explosion goes up behind and illuminates uh, the sniper. And as you hear the loud boom, you see you're just jumping over uh, in a spiraling motion. She grabs Shoddy and protects her from the uh, sniper shot. And she kush because the bullet just grazes her. The sniper's like, they dodged that? Oh, nice. And he's so shook as you see something just flying towards the sniper. He's like, huh? And he dodges out of the way barely as you see one of yours uh, needles just went flying at him and pinged off the little uh, ship chimney stack behind him and kind of impales into the deck next to him. He's like, he ducked out of the way. Now what? And you see a thuck, thuck, thuck. As these three throwing knives come flying at her in a row and your dodges out of the way as you see this old man just diving at her with a knife at the ready and your just lashes out with her foot knocks the knife out of his hand and then she uses her hand like a spear just to try and like smash him in the face and he blocks it with another knife and you see after they exchange the blows kind of separate and you have your going Phew. and he's like are you hurt and he's like oh god he's like, I, I, I think I'm okay and you see oh, all these assassins starting to come out of the shadows in between like all these little uh, like little huts on the rooftop. And Yor goes, I didn't sense any of them. And Jeff, oh boy. It's like they're all that good. And you see Turtleneck with his gang of gangsters and one freaky ass looking grandma with like these big ass bug eyes. She scares the hell out of me. But you see that they're surrounded by assassins. Oh, I cannot wait. And you see your take no two of her little knife needles. And she kind of holds in front of her, gets into a battle stance, gets ready to fight them all. Oh, cannot wait to see your going buck wild and putting all her skills to use in the next chapter. Again, ah, oh, very, very short, compact chapter. Not a lot happened. Is mostly uh, transitional setting up kind of the next stuff uh, but apart from that the art is always gorgeous and beautiful especially with the kind of like the fireworks effects that was really well done it looks really really vibrant uh, and very realistic I do appreciate like all the action panels excuse me uh, and the movements and everything else in the way that they were drawn Excuse me. I uh, can't wait to see more of that in the next chapter. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to seeing your being able to go all out next chapter. I do wonder if Lloyd is going to, if, uh, God, why am I forgetting her? If Anya and Lloyd are going to be uh, 
either interrupting the fight or maybe if uh, your manages to get away but is like heavily injured I wonder if Anya and Lloyd are gonna help her kind of hide from the assassins run away from the assassins uh, so it'll be interesting to see how also they get integrated in kind of like the overall uh, larger plot if that does happen I kind of want the secret to come to light that you know Yor is an assassin or at least that she's hiding something if not if not for it coming like outright into the open everyone finding out i think it would be interesting if lloyd does start becoming suspicious of your like if he starts suspecting that she is hiding some kind of secret from him i think that could lead to a lot of interesting scenarios uh, to develop from here on uh but yeah with that said i'm i don't know like how much more is left in this uh in this uh, arc and like how many more chapters and stuff were left uh this is a concern i was kind of thinking about a little bit with regards to this arc is i hope your does get a little bit more development because uh, thus far she hasn't gotten as much as i would like you know despite the fact that she is getting more uh focus on her character uh kind of her past and her role everything in this arc we haven't really gotten too much insight into her kind of like her internal thoughts or internal monologue uh things like that so i'm hoping we get a little bit more of that on uh, the next couple of chapters we see her start getting pushed to her limits as an assassin uh but yeah like i said uh, we'll see what happens with the next chapter when it comes out i think it's gonna come out uh on the 22nd i think it said uh so yeah so look forward to that along with the kaiju dropping uh on the either 21st or 22nd uh, depending on when i get around to it uh like i said look at the channel update i'll kind of give you more information on uh what series and stuff i'm planning to do read throughs for in the coming weeks uh like i mentioned at the beginning as well if you please do like comment subscribe uh, especially subscribe that's the super important one it'd be really helpful and really great and until next time, this is Ash. Talk to you all later.